where we're fighting enemies that are not even remotely a threat. I can stab one enemy and then shoot two enemies to death. <laughs> Well, clones of me shoot two enemies to death. Oh, he came right to us. How nice of him. Oh, he's technically considered a dragon. Oh, because he's a sand worm with a Y, not an O. So he's a dragon rather than a sand worm. Or a big vermin. I see. No, no, no. There we go. Well done, dogs. I believed in you. And level 42 and we get a prodigy. There we go. Got the resignated, resignating diamond. Son of a bitch. Ah. I should have looked up, uh... Because when you return from the Far East, like, there's bonus bosses that you fight, but I don't remember what level any of them are on. Like, there's one that spawns in Dreadfell, but Dreadfell has nine levels. Which fucking level does he spawn on? I should have looked that up. Whoops. That was a mistake. And also, dogs, please fully heal. I guess I could go do, like, uh, one of the prides first. They're not all that big of a threat. Just do the magic pride. Get a weapon that... Get the, uh... Because each... Each, like, boss of the prides have an orb of blah blah blah, which gives you a bonus to a stat. And getting bonus magic would be pretty damn nice. But if I recall correctly, the ma that that pride, I don't even remember its name off the top of my head. Rakshore. That's it. And then Krushnak is like melee fighter dudes. Vor is Wormix. Gorbat is, uh... I don't remember. Don't remember. Maybe like Rakshore is like arcane magic and Gorbak is something else. I don't remember. Rakshore I think is the hardest one though. Gorbat I think is the easiest. But I could be mistaken. Oh yeah, and I should probably get a Prodigy. I really think I'm just going to get Cauterize. Like... I just like, like Cauterize. It, it's, it's a huge boost to your survivability. So let's get this. And yeah, just get more Cunning. How much health is 9 points of constitution? 36. Wow. Now let's just get some cutting. Get cutting. Uh, I think I want to get at least 1 point in this. do that. And uh, set contingency, which I... Where the fuck? What is contingency? What does it look like? I don't even have contingency active? Really? This is contingency. Let's get it to the uh, time stop. Give me two turns in which I can do anything I want. Don't want to be blind, though. That's one thing I don't want. There, that gives me so much fucking survivability. The, uh, cauterize and time stop. So, like, if I do get one hit killed, as in not one hit killed, but, like, killed in a single turn before I can react, 
cauterize triggers, and then time stop triggers. And it's like, oh, I am now back at full health. Maybe not back at full health, but a hell of a lot better off than I was. Fucking dogs. Yep, hi dogs. Welcome back. I hit a water jet in a sandworm layer. Okay, whatever you say, game. I don't know how there's... Like, how, how that works, how there's water pressure here to cause that. What are you? A bulwark? Okay. <laughs> and now you're dead. Take a look at Guardian Unity. It can only happen once per turn, because I'm pretty sure I summoned two there. Probably due to, like, my attacks. I attack faster with my bow. So, like... Every now and then it looks like it happens in just one turn, when really it happens in two game turns, but it's like one turn for me or something like that. Because I have a weird amount of attack speed. That's probably it. Are you a summoner? Yep, you're a summoner. Now you're dead. Phoenix Gasher, it gashes Phoenixes. 70 in Insidious Poison. And it does fairly decent damage on its own. That's pretty nice. Definitely pretty nice. Why are my resistances weird? Because one of my weapons increases it. My bow increases my resistances? Okay. How? Oh, it just does. 7% resist all, that's why it changes everything. Okay. I guess that's where Bryag spawned, and he knows where you are when you enter the area or something? I don't know. What's, what's this way, game? You're, like, ignoring it for no reason. Because you would have gone back there at some point anyway to just check it out. Okay, so other than Bryag, not much value here. Okay. Must do a full clear. Or at least a full clear of all of the places that I'm entering. Yes. <laughs> Why did you go that way? Why are you going that way? Yep, there's the e the place where you fight your evil clone. Fuck off, orcs. I said fuck off, orcs.
God damn it. No. Fucking Google. I don't want to time zone wiki. I want to tome zone wiki. And I don't even think I want the zone levels. I want the backup guardian levels. Actually, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I want. Not zones, backup guardians. I want to find out what the fuck level they on are on so I don't wander around like a fucking idiot. Taking forever to find each and every one of them. I have the resident eating diamond. Ooh, off we go to prepare for them. There we go. There and back again. And now there's the order of many ways. Back up. What levels? Yeah. Okay. The one on Dreadfell is actually one of the ones that's on the first level. He's going all the way to level 9 just to fight him would not be fucking worthwhile. <laughs> just, nope, I'm good. Let's head to last hope. I am going to hang on to my money before I buy an item from that guy, because I think you get better stuff at higher levels. I'm only level 42. Wait till I'm level 50, or at least... No, I'll be level 50 before I get to the final boss, so... That'll be fine. Not before I get... Before I go to the... The point of no return at the final dungeon. first, and then he points us in the right direction. The hunt for the staff took me to a continent far to the east, accessible only by a magic portal. Recently returned from just such a, by such just such a portal. Comparing instructions on how to construct a similar portal here in Last Hope to make the return journey possible. I'm sure the elves there would welcome Drake to the West. That's extraordinary! I know a number of merchant princes will, s will salivate at the idea of new trade routes opening. But tell me, how fair is your quest for the staff? The hunt continues. The construction of this portal will be of great assistance to the staff's recovery. Well, in that case, let's let us proceed as quickly as possible. Now, concerning this fascinating portal, I'm afraid that many here have largely forgotten what they once knew about the great magics of old. I only know of one man in these lands who might be able to help wise man and recent rival of Last Hope named Tan. He claims to hail from Anglewood, supposed, supposed haven for practitioners of magic and mysticism. He arrived just months ago with fabulous wealth, and has already constructed his own tower in the northern part of the city. I know little of him, but if, if he's to be believed, he's your best hope. Why can't I just go talk to fucking... Like, hey, Linnanil! Could we get some assistance with this, rather than the shady dude? And also, this is his tower. Astonishing. I've heard tale of this orb in ancient texts and legends. Might I see it? Yeah, sure. Truly, it is the work of the master. Perhaps Linnanil herself had a hand in its making. You say you can bury instructions in its usage. Yes. Ah, I see. I did not at first grasp perhaps that grasp this guy's setting met methods but I see now that they are sound and it is simply his penmanship that needs improvement he managed to reproduce his work here but as he says we will need a blood ruined athame and a resonating diamond do you have any idea where they might be? well if the orcs created a portal in the depths of Reckonor they must have had access to such items and if these items cannot pass through the portal they created then it stands to reason they must still be in Majail I would search right now, starting near the portal itself. Perhaps did they did not move the Athame and Diamond after its creation. Uh... I'll hang on to it. This Chronomancer... How do you know he's a fucking Chronomancer? Huh? I know he's a Chronomancer, but that's because he's the guy who fucking taught me how to be a Temple of Order. He's just some dude. I require the work for you. Very well, there is no hurry. But 
Well, you spent a number of days studying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of shady as fuck, dude. I don't really trust you. Why can't I just go talk to Linenil and, and have someone that, you know, is trustworthy do this? So to Reknor, which is one of the backup guardians, by the way. And while we're near Ragnar, I can go to the uh, the boss that's in the deep bellow here. Let's do that first, actually. Hi, dwarves. How's it going? I'm going to do here. Game options. I'm going to disable the saving in between just zone levels. For now. Uh, let's just disable it for now, even though disabling is not... Wait. What? Changing this option will not affect already visited zones. Well, shit. stuff for the taunt add-on. Well, never mind. What level of the deep bellow is he at? Three. Okay. Wait, whoa. These, these trees are moving. Or I guess they're mushrooms rather than trees. But they were moving there. I've... And they moved again. What the fuck? That is weird. I've never seen that before. And I'm not seeing it now. Feel terribly threatened upon entering this area. Yeah, sure I do. Because these guys can drop some pretty nice stuff. They're, they're actually worth my time. And it's this thing. The abomination. A hard mass of pustulant flesh, sinew, and bone. This creature seems constant to be in constant pain. Two head hair two heads glare malevolently at you. Oh, you have uh Anorathil talents. I see. Increase our, our everything speed. There we go, he's dead. And then it's these guys finally like Oh don't don't do that suicidal thing. And that we actually read the, the fourth letter before the first. The Corpse Stalker. It stalks, holy shit. Uh, like, I lose the ar extra armor and armor hardiness? Yeah, that's not worth it, actually, but 40 global speed slow. That's pretty sweet. all that armor hardiness and armor 32 32 armor wait I, I I gotta check this actually 
Yeah. No, I don't know. Like, it says plus 32 armor. Does, like, this stuff say it's plus one armor? Okay, that's not like it's 32 armor on top of the base armor of it. If that was Voraton, I would use it. But it's not. Okay. Let's get out of here. Wait for the dogs to heal. Get out of here. That item was worth a decent amount of gold, though. And now to Ragnar. As soon as it's done saving, now to Ragnar. There we go. You're not, why, why aren't you, you say there's no way out of this level here. After I get the entry to the new level, it says there's no way out of this level here. Okay. It even says that there's a way out of the level there. It's lying. dog. Stop resting. I need to restart the game. It's, it's getting all laggy. I don't know why. The Temporal Warden abilities seem to do that. Like, it doesn't... It didn't do that for, like, the Again, I don't. I did not have that many flashy abilities with all sorts of special effects on the Wormick. Where is this? This guy's got all sorts of special effects. Why the fuck? Why are you going that way? No, stop. Stop. Go down the fucking staircase. But there's one tile of the map that I don't have vision on. I must go find out. No. No, no, you don't, Auto Explorer. You do not. The last saw to the cavern was littered with the corpses of the orcs you had slain. Now many, many more corpses carpet the floor. All charred and reeking of sulfur. An orange glow dimly illuminates the far reaches of the cavern to the east. Okay. Oh, there he is. Lithfingal. Terrible demon of decay and atrophy. And he's dead. There we go. Blood rune Athame and resignate and death. Oh, and the Sanguine Shield. There is actually a boss that uh, one of the backup bosses. He's supposed to drop the Sanguine Shield. But, uh, I'll hang on to that, I guess. Let's get out of here. I wonder how much damage the Sanguine Shield does. It doesn't actually say, since I don't have any talents that do, that, like, are for shields for me to see how, because it doesn't need to tell me how much damage the shield does, because I don't have any talents that let me attack with the shield. So sure, let's put it in there. Seems like it could be pretty neat. 
There is one absolutely amazing shield in this game, but we haven't found that yet. Yep, items in the vault game. You can let me move now. There we go. Has to save twice because reasons. It's gotta save that it's put it put it in the vault and save that it's out of my inventory, or something like that. Two hundred twenty two or two hundred twenty block is pretty nice on that shield though. Nope, I don't want to go to Last Hope's graveyard. Just want to go to Last Hope. I seem to recall that of all of the backup guardians, the one that's the most dangerous is the one in the old forest. And the one that's in, uh... the other place, uh, Dreadfell. So I got the blood room, or I have the diamond and the anthem. Excellent. Are you willing to leave the, the orb in my care for a time? Uh, yes. Here it is. Guard it carefully. Must return soon. Fear not. Return in a few days, and I'll have everything prepared. Oh, take this. It opens up the ruins of Tel, which the men of Shultar sealed many years ago. You happen to find a text in the ruins entitled Inverted and Reverted Probabilistic Fields. Return it and your uh, odds of surviving the portal attempt will go up drastically. Back into there. Even though Corporal is like the second most dangerous dude as far as I can recall, let's go there. Not Corporal, Dreadfell. Let's go there, because that's right right next to us. There's the uh, ruins of Telmore. Or Talmore, or whatever. Go here, fight to this backup boss. I think the guy in Trollmire is supposed to that drop that shield that got dropped by the guy. Fuck off, Zigger. Don't like you, Zigger, on the patrols. You're... Way worse than the orcs. Because the orcs individually are not as dangerous. But then again, it's not like this character's got, like, many AoE talents. Oh, you're right next to the entrance. Well, that's convenient. I don't have to wander around searching for you. start off with uh, arrow echoes or arrow stitching. I forget which. It's echoes. Oh, and he came back from the dead. Because he can do that. So what talents do you have? Okay. Elemental surge. Ah. Uh, ha. Huh. Summon allies. Well, I guess he doesn't need a talent to come back from the dead, just like Linenil doesn't. Level up. And this talent, wh whichever one it is, that's so nice. With one, if you hit an enemy with an arrow, which stacks with this, it's so nice. Elemental Fury, okay. Don't really need that, but okay. But 
that's enough for this this video here. Uh, I'm going to go to one of the other bosses who's like four levels deep into the dungeon, and I'll just quickly go through that on my own and start recording at the.